Hello everybody, and welcome back to Habitat! Now, uh, quite a few of you guys seem to enjoy this, so I thought we would continue, and I really want to. Anyway, um, last time, let me load up the game here. Load game! I also named our ship the Majestic Space Walrus. I think it's fitting. Um, but last time, we... Defeated a rogue spaceship, I suppose. Um, he, he he was just floating about. We came, we conquered, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't get anything out of it. But that's fine. That's fine. Also, last time I was looking at uh, these ammo boxes, and it said uh, attached to a claw to cannon can be rigged to bring firepower upgrades to weapons. Um, I still don't know what the Claw 2 is. Um, I'm sure I'll find out one way or another, but at this point, I don't really know. Um, I'm kind of thinking, because there are, like, robotic arms out here in the vacuum of space. The vacuum of space. But, um, I, they don't really say the claw too. Is this an industrial drill? The Glamorex AZ? No, that's not it. That's not it. But I've been trying to figure out what it is. And I just, I don't really know, unfortunately. But I want to find out. What is this? An Omni Thruster. Hmm. Because it seems weird that they'd have that, but they wouldn't have... Ooh, T-Rex skull! Militarized T-Rex head. Of questionable history, ac historical accuracy, this dinosaur model boosts a short-range flamethrower for anti-riot work. Not really what we're looking for. Um, also, I've been looking into these things. Now these things are matter accelerators. Um, the highly experimental anti kythera matter driver imparts near instant acceleration on any object within its field. Um, what I think those do, because before I thought they were like thrusters, but I don't think that's the case. What I think it is, is if you drive your ship, ship up and uh, something, say like this circular saw, gets in the path right here because these will like they have like a laser type thing kind of like the subwoofer if they get caught in that they'll just fire it off like a missile so i can turn just space junk into weaponry which is really cool or i guess if there were um because in this there's like nanites which are these clouds of floating death basically and maybe if we could use one of those we could launch the sucker into space without actually having to fight it but you know that's to be seen kind of also we lost our pal he appears to have flowed floated off into space he is gone he is space dust Ooh, what is that is that a robotic arm oh, there's a robotic arm is that the claw thing the Canard Arm for 6. No, that is not what I am looking for. I am looking for a claw. But um, I think for the time being, I'm just going to stick some stuff to them and see if that... Um, is it... You'd think it would help this, right? The rocket? Hmm. Ammo box. A spare Omni box once attached to a claw to... Cannon. Claw 2 cannon. I don't have a Claw 2 cannon, I don't think. Unless it's the tether. Vehicle tethering system, no. And it's not the fireball hands. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, we'll have to find that. That's kind of our mission today. Also, I want to see if we can find a, um... An abandoned space, or uh, you can, maybe not abandoned, but just just a floating space station, not an enemy one. And I've seen them before. They're kind of like a white color, 
Uh, the one I found didn't attack me, but I blew it up. It wasn't in this game, but it was in a different one. So that's kind of our mission is to figure out if there's any more of them floating around here. But I have no idea where one might be. It could be anywhere out here. And unfortunately, I can't just kind of like look across the field of debris and be like, oh, there it is. Now, it's a little bit harder than that, unfortunately. But I'm going to find it. So warp drive. That's 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 what I'm going to say from now on. So that, 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 that you guys know that I'm going to fast forward till I find one. And then I'm going to get the ship in placement. Get it? We're, we're warping to to the new location. And you guys don't even have to watch all that. Isn't it great? Alrighty, everybody. So, I went around and I looked and I tried to find another one of those little space stations, but I just could not. I couldn't find one anywhere. I also couldn't find a claw, too. So, what I thought is, because I saw these baddies out here. Hold on, let me just turn all my engines off and uh, we'll just hit the e brake real quick. Okay. So, I saw one of these baddies out here, and I thought to myself, okay, they're basically a space station. The, the only thing is that they have these weapons on them. So, what if, what if I was able to destroy their weapons individually? Could I then um, take over their space station and add it to mine? Also, as you can tell, I've added a lot of new stuff, including another ion drive, which is perfect for our ship. Uh, that's not really going to do it, I don't think. Let's do uh, five and six. Just get in there. Um, unfortunately, some of this stuff has offset us, so I'm going to have to figure out a better way. Do we now? Well, let's hit the e-brake. Let's see if we can hit one of their weapons on there. Maybe I can get them to come forward. Not even close. Let's do two, three, five, and six. Now the only thing I'm worried about with this ship is we've added so much stuff to the back that it kind of wibble wobbles around when it's flying. So if we do like one and four, you can kind of see as it moves, there's kind of a weeble wobble to it. But I think we'll be all right. But I want to get these guns lined up so I can take out some of their weapons without actually engaging them. Because the closer they get, the more likely we are to just have full on combat. And I, I don't really want full on combat. I just kind of want to take their ship. I just kind of want to add them to the crew. You know what I mean? Let's see, let's turn this sucker off. Turn to the right a bit. Let's try to, let's try to turn the ship a little bit. We're not quite in position. Just pop off a couple of their armaments there. And I think that'll do it. I think we'll have enough ability to just pop off a couple of these and we'll see we'll see if we can take it oh my god wouldn't that be so cool and see I think at this distance they won't really attack me pop on five and six real quick I think I'm slightly out of alignment it's totally fine all right. Oh, shoot. The cannons have targeted against, well, against the middle one there. So that's fine. Let's just pop off a couple of these. See if we can take that thing off. I don't want to do too much because if I do too much damage. Ooh, shoot. I'm going to take off more of their ship than I want. Seven, can I get a couple of those popped off?
don't know if it's actually dealing any damage, unfortunately. Let's pop off a couple of those. Let's see if we can get a couple eights off. These tend to go a little bit further and deal a little bit more damage. Ooh, there we go. Okay, number nine. Let's target a couple of those. Ah, they're turning. They're going on the defensive. All right, switch on engine one and two. We need to get back into alignment here. And let's pop on three so we can go forward. And I think that should do it. It's going to target that direction? Why is it going to charge that direction? Three, four. Let's get this bad boy moving. Five, six. We need more engines. I want to, I want this to be the fastest ship in the fleet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see, I think I can get a couple shots on that one. There we go. There we go. Taking these off one by one. It's going to be a long fight, but it's going to be worth it if we can hijack that ship and make it one of ours. You know what I mean? But if we can't, well, this will be... This will have been a waste of time, let's be honest. All right, I think I can get... Ooh, can I? Let's get this bad boy moving just a bit more. All right, I think that should do it. Just about. Let's move it just a tad more. Unfortunately, they're only good at short range because they only have lasers. Ooh, they have a defense cannon. That might be a little bit more difficult, but it might be a short range type of thing. Yeah, let's get a couple of these off. Ooh, I'm a little bit too far, so let's turn back around. There we go. I think we should be in alignment. Tape on board their ship! Nope, not even close. Okay. Ooh, can I? Can I? Not quite. It's turned a little bit to the right, unfortunately. There we go. Okay, they're moving to the other direction. Need to turn back. See if I can get some sevens off on it. Ooh, not enough Omni! Oh no. Ooh, but we got one. See if we can get the other one. It's gonna burst before it goes. It might just hit. We might just have enough. But I'm burning through my Omni pretty darn quickly here. I think we're hitting it. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. I might turn on engines one, two, three, and four really quick. Move us forward a little bit. Let's turn on this bad boy really quick. Let's turn on five and six just to be safe. That should do it. I think we're in alignment to take these guys out. Ooh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh yes, they're taken out. Oh shoot, and they got one in the back. All right, all right. So I'm gonna maneuver around. One and two. We're gonna maneuver. We're gonna make a big maneuver here, guys, and we're gonna flip on number five here and this bad boy. We can get a nice sharp turn. I want to go around these guys. Oh, they got the flamer going. They got the flamer going. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, are we in danger? I don't know if we're close enough to deal dan to feel danger. I'm still trying to maneuver around. I think we're getting close to where we need to be. All 
Alright, I think at this point we can start maneuvering the other direction. So let's shut off all these engines. Repairing if we can get damage the... node. Repairing damage node. I, th I think we'll be alright. Okay, let's get in position here. Can we turn it without getting damage dealt to us? Oh, I don't know. But I'm gonna try. We might have to throw on the laser real quick. Let's see if that can take it out before it gets to us. We could just throw on... Wait a second. We could... One, two, three, four, five, and six. We could just turn on the subwoofer and blow them to bits. Ha <laughs> ha! You didn't expect me to have a sw uh, subwoofer, did you? Ha ha ha! Oh no, it's not strong enough! It's not strong enough! Alright, we, we need to flip this bad boy around. So, uh, what is it? Three, four, five, six. Keep turning, keep turning. Go, Majestic Space Walrus! I believe in you! Oh my goodness, could we do this, guys? Could we do this? Could we eliminate all their weaponry at once? Ooh, I wonder if the laser could take it out. You might be able to do it just before we get there. Let's see if we can get that in alignment and just pulverize that with the laser. We're not quite in position. It might take some damage, I don't know. I don't see any damage coming off of it, so we might be all right. I think we're coming into alignment. We might be able to do this. Ooh. Let's keep on it. Let's keep on it. Hit the thrust. Ooh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Come on, baby. Hit that thing. Yes! We did it! We eliminated everything on that ship. Now can we take it far on? <gasps> oh my god! I have... Okay, we need to we need to do that. I am going to eliminate this shuttle off the back of here. We don't really need it. It's not really doing anything at this moment. Alright. Move that bad boy over there. Gosh, we could even take this off if we wanted to. Let's do that. Let's take off this girder here because we don't really need that either. And I need that moved out of the way, fellas. Thank you. We're gonna grab this bad boy. We're gonna just stick it. Ooh, no, no. Get that, get that off there. Thank you. Roger oh that. yes. Oh yes. Ha ha ha! We have defeated our enemy and taken their ship for our own. Ladies and gents, that is a feat if I've ever seen one. What does this ship give us? Uh, it produces 20 Omni, 20 fuel, 20 electricity, and AI controlled turrets. It's got, or it has AI controlled uh, turrets. Omni, Omni multiplier, fuel bonus multiplier. Oh my gosh, this thing is a beast! It's gonna be a pleasure to add this to my ship. Repairing damage node. Wow. Well done. That is just spectacular, guys. Um, what does it say? The fuel, ammunition, and computer core that power auto defense stations highly explosive if destroyed. Oh, okay. So if it were destroyed, it explodes everything. So that's awesome, guys. We got ourselves a new core added to the ship. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. I wonder if I add stuff to it, if it automatically fire for me. That would be so cool. Alright guys, thanks for joining me for a little bit more of uh, Habitat. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And um, I think the cool part about this is it seems like every time I log in, there's new enemies or things have moved around, sort of. Maybe not the 
the items around here, but the enemies, ships, things like that seem to move around when I reload the game. So I'm hoping next time when we hop on, we'll have some more ships to take on. Maybe we'll find some nanites. I'm pretty sure they exist within these gigantic clouds over here. So maybe we'll go take on, on those guys. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of rockets and add it to this bad boy. And I think we're gonna need some more defenses. So I might add some defenses to it. And um, so yeah, thanks for joining me guys. And I will see you all next time.